All right, it's your boy Crypto Blood. I'm doing this tutorial. Normally don't even do tutorials, but I think it's very important for you guys to know how to use this tool in this next bull run. I think meme coins are going to go crazy. It's going to be the best performing category of cryptos, in my opinion. So you're going to need a tool like this. It's only on Solana right now. Actually, I think they have it on Ethereum as well, but we're going to look at the one on the Solana platform because you guys know those gas fees are insane on Ethereum. The meme culture is going crazy on Solana anyway. So I have a tool that I've been using for like two months now. Just so happened someone in the YouTube members room told me, hey, do a tutorial about this. I said, good idea. I guess I should, right? So it's called Unibot. Well, at least it was called Unibot. Now I think they call it Trojan. Why would you call a piece of software Trojan? I have no clue, ladies and gentlemen. But anyway, let's take a look at this. Link is in the description below. It is a Telegram bot. So all you have to do is click the link that I have in the description below. It will open your Telegram and then you can join from there. You'll see something like, if I scroll up, you'll see this, right? Once you join, you'll see a little video they play. It says Trojan. Ah, why you call it Trojan? I have no clue. It was called Unibot. And if you look here on birdeye.so, that's where I try to do a lot of my, it's just like Dex tools or Dex screener. Same, same concept, right? But I like bird's eye. Great interface. Gives you the information you need on the left here. If I move myself out the way, you'll see this on the left. You can get all the information about the particular token, how many traders, 24 hours, you know, the concentration of traders, top traders. All this type of stuff you can get about a particular token. Is it mutable, mintable, all that stuff, right? You can see all that on Bird's Eye, just like other platforms, but I like the layout of Bird's Eye. So maybe I'll throw a link in the description for Bird's Eye as well. But what I like about Bird's Eye is I think either Unibot slash Trojan Bot is created by them or they have a partnership with them because if you look in the top hand corner right here, You'll see on any page, you can go to any pair you want to go to. I'm on Biff right now. That thing is starting to take off again. <laughs> I swear I should have sold some um, a couple of days ago when I was up maybe three, four hundred percent. But I think it's about to head back up again, man. I think this bad boy has got some room to go. I'm not trying to shield this one, but look at this. I mean, it hasn't even touched all time high yet. And it's been out for I think since December. So I think this may have potential to run very small market cap right now so we'll see no guarantees you know how this game goes with the meme coins but this is a tool you'll need to use instead of using radium or some other web interface to buy and sell your tokens it just doesn't make any sense because with this trojan bot slash uni bot you can actually control and see where your positions are you can do limit orders. You can do dollar cost average orders. We're going to go through all of that. They even have copy trading. Crazy, crazy, crazy platform you guys definitely need to know about. So again, on Bird's Eye, you have for every pair, you'll be able to quickly hover over that Telegram icon and click Unibot. And what it's going to do is immediately bring up that particular pair. Great, right? I'm using it, my other Telegram account so you guys can just see by default how things work. I'll show you what it looks like when you have a list of trades. I'll give you that breakdown. You can hide pairs, maybe hide them from yourself or hide them because you got rug pulled. I mean, I don't know, right? It, it just depends on why you want to do that, but it's a great tool. So again, you click that icon on any of the tokens you see on bird's eye and it will take you directly to Unibot, now Trojan, and you can quickly trade what i love about this is it pops up it shows you if it's been renounced if there's a rug pull it'll say it there now just because there isn't a rug pull at this moment doesn't mean there won't be one in the future so just keep that in mind with whatever pair you're looking to trade but again you'll have your balance i have zero in there right now because i'm just running this on another telegram user account but you'll be able to quickly see the market cap the liquidity in the last 24 hours the price, all that price change in the last 30 minutes and 24 hours, you'll see. Great. And if you have soul in there, and I'll show you how to deposit soul, all you have to do is pick swap. That'll be a market order. Or you can do a limit order. You can pick a price either below or above the markets right now, and it will trigger it to buy whatever amount you select here. You have various amounts, default amounts, but you can also do 
the pencil and put in your own amount. Let's say you want to, you're, you're feeling devilish. You want to do 666. You hit enter. Boom. Now it's going to default to buy 0.666 Solana worth of whichever token. And then all you have to do is slippage. I typically try to do a slippage of 10% or less. 15% is by default. I would say if it's a new token, it's going crazy. You are going to have to increase that slippage to 15 or higher. Uh, I don't think you should go any higher than that. You should, you should just continue to retry buying. And with the limit order, you have to set the trigger price, right? So you have to put that price in there. What I do typically is an easy way to do it visually is to go back to the chart, click on the chart. Let's say you want to buy below the markets. You want to buy like down here. You just right click, copy price right there. Go back over to your bot. I've already got the trigger price selected and so you'll see four zeros there. You got to take that four out, the small four out, and put three zeros there. Because it already counts one zero, as you can see there. So you got to take the four away and do one, two, three. Do that whatever the zero count is. So if you saw a five down there, you want to put four zeros. If you see six down there, you want to put five zeros in lieu of the small number that you'll see there in some cases with these coins because there are so many decimal places just giving you that heads up i set the trigger price you can set an expiration date you can do a 1d means one day it gives you explanations on it you can do it by minutes hours days really it's really sweet so i'm going to do 2d see now it's set for two days it, it'll expire after two days and then you just create the order very simple i do normally uh the limit orders are for me usually sale i have done a limit buy in the past just because i'm in a position already and i want to just slow my fomo itis down i'll go ahead and put a buy order below the market so if a pullback comes it'll trigger it immediately and execute on it swaps again are for straight up market orders and that'll just literally buy x amount at whatever price you can change the default amounts for these buttons here in the settings i maybe i'll go through and show you that and then this is a this is another great one this is even better for fomo let's say you're in a position you just dipped your toe in it but over the next span of whatever amount of time you want to buy more of that token in in an interval sweet idea dollar cost average button crazy sweet same concept how many what interval period you want to use to buy every 30 minutes every one hour one h will be one hour you can do whatever you want duration how long this should go on it can be indefinite until you run out of a balance or you can set actual time for that minimum price max price so this is a newer feature i didn't have this when i first started using unibot but now this allows you to basically set zones for which this dollar cost average would be in play if it's below the minimum price it will stop dollar cost averaging if it's above a maximum price it will stop dollar cost averaging so that's a great feature there as well now if i take us back to the home page you will see we have your balance this is your wallet address and this is what you would use you can click that and it will copy it you can use that to uh, deposit solana to your telegram wallet this wallet is pretty secure you have to request private keys or you can export it but once you export it is like they say hey we're not responsible for anything that happens to your funds after your secret key has been exposed so i would just say buy and sell here and maybe move those tokens to another wallet if you got a long-term position you're looking to do you might want to do that we can never fully trust any type of software right you just never know You've, we've seen so many times exploits happen so just be careful maybe have multiple bots multiple addresses you can actually create new ones if i go to wallets it shows you your see there is an ethereum one as well solana export private keys import wallet so you can't import so you can create new ones and then maybe export them and then import them back if you want to. But at any rate, this is the landing page. I'm going to show you positions last because I have to go over to another account to show you that. But you should pretty much get the gist of everything. Buy, sell, positions will show what positions you have. Again, I'll show you exactly how that looks. It's pretty dope. DCA orders to show you what dollar cost average orders you already have in queue. And you can also see what limit orders you have in play. And you can cancel those if you would like to as well. There's a section called new pairs. Just be careful with this because it's, you know, 
literally just straight from the blockchain no vetting you see this one was a rug you don't know even if it's not rugged it could change to be a, a rugged project potentially if you don't have a hundred percent of the liquidity locked so don't just take a not rugged as oh we're i'm fine to just put some money in there no that's not what that's telling us you can also see upcoming launches you know sometimes coins will forecast a launch this is the section for that and if you keep hitting the button it'll show you new ones as well all right now i had early access to this copy trade section this was pretty neat i haven't used it uh much because i couldn't find any addresses that were still active like there would be some might have been bots but some addresses that i see and then all of a sudden they stop trading anyway if you have a, a wallet address on solana that you know is good and they're active you can add them and it will literally copy their trades you can do buy buy their percentage and add a tag so you know which wallet that is so on and so forth so that's pretty cool and remember i told you about the buy and sell settings more so the buy settings you can have the defaults changed to whatever amount you feel comfortable with or you're you're averaging so you can change those here and they will be up there immediately and you can change the default slippage rate as well same goes with your selling so you can say 50 percent if you want to do 25 uh, percent you can change all of that there so i want to show you really quickly the positions list because that is a great tool once you go to positions you'll see a list like this and all you need to do to scan quickly and see where you are it'll show you it'll be a red square if you're negative on that position currently a green square will show that you're in profit for that particular trade it'll show the address for that pair you can click it and it'll copy it or you can actually click the icon and it'll take you to deck screener where you can see more information on that pair it shows your balance how many buys you've had how many sales you've had and also a PL card if you want to show it off to your friends and family members and have them jump off the cliff with you if you click the actual token symbol it'll take you to a sale interface now there's two ways to buy if you want to buy more of that coin i'll show you really quickly how that works so if you want to buy more of a particular coin you can scroll down to the bottom and you can select any of the tokens you have if there you have more than what are able to fit here for at a time it'll have another button that says page two you can click that and it'll show you the other uh pairs any rate all you got to do is click one of the other ones it'll have a green check by it and then you can buy above or you can sell below so the buys are above the sales are below there's another way you can do it and it is by just simply clicking on the token symbol and hitting this button down here it'll swap it around basically it flips it to a buy switch to buy you click that it'll switch it to a buy and then you can go through and purchase very simple very quick is way faster than trying to be on radium or any other platform in a web browser going back and forth and then you don't know how much you're up you don't know how much you're down you can't see everything in one centralized area this is great for that check it out link is in the description below if you have any questions um, if you need a follow-up tutorial let me know in the comment below and i will potentially do it i'm not a tutorial type dude but i thought this is a tool you'll want to have for this bull run meme coins it's going down ladies. It's your boy crypto blood make sure you like share and subscribe click that bell to receive more videos like this i'm out of here Holla.